In this video, we're going to connect the directors to companies. So now we have eight different records in the accounts object with three different user roles. And as you may remember from the data structure, we have our companies table, but we'd like to have directors connected to the companies. So each company can have many directors, but each director only works or is connected to one company. So I'm going to connect the accounts object to companies. I'm only going to be targeting the directors. So to make this a little bit easier to see, I'm just going to add a filter and filter this table down where the user role contains director. And this will just show me the three records. So I want to connect Darren, Dave and Duncan to one of the different companies that I have in my table. And in this case, I'm going to connect them all to Nuco. So I'm just going to check on my settings to make sure that the display field is actually the company name. So this is how the table will display in the accounts object. So if I click on accounts, I am now going to go to fields and add a connection. And I'm going to connect the accounts to the company's table. And each account connects with one company and each company connects with many accounts, which is the connection I want. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to move my company up underneath the company name and then switch back to the records view. Now specifically looking at the directors, so the second, third and fourth entry, if I click on the drop down, the display field shows here with the display name coming through as the company. So I'm going to select Nuco and Nuco. So I now have Darren, Dave and Duncan all connected to the same company. I'm now going to go to the pages section and go to the companies table, which we'll be familiar with. And click on the view link to view the company details. Now, I appreciate this is showing a different company, but it's the page. This is the company details page. So on this company details page, I'm going to add another view and it's going to be a grid. And the only object I can connect is the accounts. This is the only thing that is connected to a company. So I'm going to click on accounts and it then says it's going to show records connected to this page's company. So it will show the three directors connected to Nuco. I'm going to click on continue. I'm going to add an edit link and press continue. And I'm going to call this view directors and add the grid. I'm then just going to go into settings, add a keyword search, scroll down to the bottom, change the title to directors and save. I'm going to click on the column heading for edit, click on it again to enable the properties. I'm going to remove the word account and as before, custom column width of 50 and centerize and save. So coming over to the live app, I'm on my company's page. So I'm just going to do a refresh and now I'm going to click on new co. And at the top of the screen, I get the details view for the company and below that the table for the directors, which show Darren, Dave and Duncan. So if I go back into the builder, I'm just going to go back into the records and I'm going to switch Darren to Umbrella Corporation. So if I go back to my live app now, I can simply just click on the search and that will re-query the table and show that I only have two directors connected to this company. If I go back to my company's table and go into Umbrella, I can see that Darren is now a director for Umbrella. The next things I like to do are to kind of clean up my edit page and add a button here to be able to add another director to this company. So I'm going to go back to the builder. First of all, I'm going to look at my edit page. So I'm going to click on the orange arrow and that navigates me to the edit account page underneath the company details. So first of all, I'm just going to rename this because it is obviously editing the top level account, but I want to just call this director. And I'm going to copy that and paste it into the page URL. So the page URL has the same name as the page. If I save that and go back into the settings, you'll see that that very cleverly formats this correctly as a URL. So I'm now going to click on the form and starting at the top, I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to first of all, remove this title, save. I'm going to click on the settings and just show this as a modal pop-up. 
back on the form on where I was in settings, I'm now just going to come down to uh, rules and change my submit rule from displaying a message to redirecting back to the parent. So on my form, there are some fields that I don't actually want to show. So for instance, the company name, I won't need to have that on there because this record's already connected to a company. So I need the name, the email. I'm going to remove the password from here. The user status I'll leave on here. I'm not going to give the person the ability to change the user role on this form. And then I'm going to save. Back to my live app, do a refresh. And now I should have a pop-up edit with the name, email, the user status, which I can change to inactive. And this would simply mean that the director would not be able to get past the login screen. And I can also change the phone number, which is the additional field we put at the top level accounts. I didn't put the password on here and I'll show you why. So if I click back on the form and go to add inputs and put the password on, because the password is never actually displayed when you edit it, it will ask you to change the password. So if I now edit this, I have to fill in a new password and it's always a required field. So if I don't change anything on this form or if I do change their name or their phone number and I try to submit it, it asks me for a password. So I don't put the password on that form. I would perhaps put it on a separate form, which I'll show you very quickly how I would do that. Remove it from there. And because NAC is really flexible, I can carry on adding various links. So we have this edit link to edit a record, but I'm going to click back on this grid and I'm going to add a column and it's an action column and the action is to edit. So it's the same link as I did before, but this time I'm going to only have the password on it. So I'm going to change the header to password and I'm going to uh, remove the link text and I'm going to add an icon, uh, a lock icon, custom center, and I'm going to move that to the left and save. And once I've saved, I'll get another orange link and I can navigate to this page. And this is edit account, which is actually what I want to do. I'm just going to rename this to, uh, let's call that uh, update password. And once again, I'm going to have it as a modal pop-up. And on this form, I'm going to remove all the fields except the password. I'm going to go back a level to the settings and remove this title because I won't need the title as the form is also called uh, edit password. And as before, I'm going to go to the rules and when this form submits, I want it to redirect back to the parent. Save back to my live app and do a refresh. And now when I click on my link here, I only get a form to do my password. So I have a form to be able to edit the actual record for the person. And I have another form to be able to update my password. So back into the builder, uh, back to the company's details. So just to navigate where I am, my login screen at the top, this is my company's table. And then I've clicked on the company to get into the company details. So the company details, we have the details at the top and belief that we have a grid, which is displaying accounts. And these accounts are set to only show that ones are connected to this company. So now I want to add the ability for a user to add another director. So I'm going to add a form and it's going to add a new record, which is an account. And I'm going to click continue and I'm going to call this add director and link the form from a menu. I'm going to click away from the menu to deselect it so I can hover over and then move it above the table. Click on the orange arrow. It's going to take me to the page here for add director. I'm going to set this as a modal pop-up. I'm going to click onto the form, settings, remove the extra title because I won't need that as a pop-up. And then my fields, I will need the name, I won't need the company because this form inserts a new account 
connected to this company. So I won't need to specify the company, that will be done automatically. So name, email and password. The user status is automatically set at active, so I don't need that here. Uh, and the user role, I'm gonna set as, as a record rule. So I'm gonna leave the phone number. So these are the only fields I need to set up my account. So I'm going to save that initially. I'm gonna click back on the form. And I could do all this in one operation, but I like to save as I go along. So now I'm going to do some rules. And rules are really powerful in NAC. They're broken down into submission, display, and record rules. But there's so much you can do with them. So on the submit rules, I'm gonna get once again, redirect to parent. And I don't have any display rules. Display rules enable you to show and hide fields based on other criteria. But on the record rule, I want to add a rule on this and set the user role to director. So when this record saved or updated, I want the user role to a custom value of director. And I can save that. So if I come back to my live app and do a refresh, So I can now click on add director, complete the details and submit. The form submits, it redirects me back to the parent, which is this page. And you can see that the record has been added here as Donna. And if I go into the builder and go to my records under the accounts section, I can see Donna has been added here, connected to the umbrella corporation and connected as a user role for director. In the next video, we are going to be looking at adding a template table and then adding projects and connecting projects to the companies.